हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माइंड मैप प्रोग्राम टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सेशंस ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ आईएनसी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशंस सक्सेसेस ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस एंड प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक ए ओ ह्यूम फाउंडेड द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस इन एटीन एटी फाइव एंड इट ग्रू टू बिकम one of the most important political parties in pre independent india the early leadership included dada bhai naroji feroz shah mehta badruddin tiyab ji wc banerji surendranath banerji ramesh chandra dutt s subramaniya ayer formation of indian national congress was an effort in the direction of promoting the process of nation building the inc also worked as an all india political platform which allowed political workers from across the country to educate and mobilize the masses now moving on to objectives of inc to promote the nation building process in india in order to foster a sense of national identity among the people and to promote national unity to establish an all india political platform that will allow political workers from across the country to educate and mobilize the masses through a single all india political organization to promote political consciousness and awakening among educated citizens and then to all segments of society now let's have a look at important sessions of inc first session the first session of inc was held in bombay in 1885 the session was presided by wc banerji this session is also considered as the founding session of the congress and was attended by 72 delegates next is second session The second session of the Congress took place under the leadership of Dada Bhai Naroji in Calcutta in 1886. The number of delegates had increased to 434. During this session National Congress and National Conference were merged. Third session. The third INC session held at Madras in 1887. It took place under the leadership of Sayyid Badruddin Tiyab ji. He was also the first Muslim president of the session. Also during This session an appeal was made to Muslims to join hands with other national leaders. Fourth session. The fourth session was held in Allahabad in 1888. George Yule was the president of the session and he was also the first English president. Twelfth session. This session held in Calcutta in 1896. It was presided over by Rahimatullah M Sayani. During this session national song Vande Mataram was sung for the first time by Rabindranath Tagore the drain theory got a stamp of approval and the british were held responsible for the drain of wealth from india 17th session this session was held in calcutta in 1901 under the presidentship of dinshaw edulji wacha the 1901 calcutta session was the first time mahatma gandhi appeared on the congress platform During this session Gandhi ji urged the congress to support the struggle against racial discrimination and exploitation in the country 21st session the 21st session of congress was held in banaras in december 1905 under the presidentship of gopal krishna gokhale during this session a formal proclamation of swadeshi movement against the government the partition of bengal was also opposed 22nd session The session was headed by Shri Dada Bhai Naroji in Calcutta in the year 1906. In this session four resolutions were adopted Swaraj, self government, boycott movement, swadeshi and national education. 24th session. This session was held in Lahore in December 1909 and was presided by Madan Mohan Malviye. In this session disapproval was expressed over the separate electorate on the basis of religion as given in the indian councils act 1909 25th session held under the presidentship of sir william wedderburn in 1910 in allahabad in this session m a jinha decried the separate electorate system introduced by act of 1909 26th session headed by bishan narayan dar in the year 1911 in calcutta During this session national anthem Jan Gan Man was sung for the first time. 30th session it was held in Bombay in December 1915 and was headed by SP Sinha. The biggest achievement of the 1915 Bombay session was that the constitution of the congress was altered to admit the delegates from the extremist section. 31st session 
The 31st session of Congress was held in Lucknow in 1916 under and was presided by Ambika Charan Mazumdar. The 1916 Lucknow session represented the unification of the moderates and extremists within the Congress. Another significant development was the coming together of the Muslim League and the Congress and the presentation of common demands by them to the government. 32nd session. This session was held in 1917 in Calcutta under Annie Besant. Annie Besant became the first woman president of the Congress. Special session. This session of Congress was presided by Sayyid Hassan Imam and was held in Bombay in 1918. The session was convened to deliberate the contentious Montague Chelmsford Reform Scheme. 34th session. The 34th session of Congress was chaired by Motilal Nehru in 1919 in Amritsar. The Congress expressed its deep solidarity with the people killed in the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Congress also expressed its support for the Khilafat movement. 37th session. This session of Congress was held in Gaya in 1922 under the presidentship of C R Das. During this session the Congress was divided into Swarajist and No Changers. 40th session The 40th session was held in Kanpur in 1925 under the presidentship of Sarojini Naidu This was the first session which was presided by an Indian woman 42nd session held in Madras in 1927 under the presidentship of M A Ansari During this session a resolution was passed against the use of Indian troops in China Iran and Mesopotamia Another resolution against boycott of Simon Commission was passed and resolution for Purn Swaraj was adopted 44th session the 44th session was presided by Jawaharlal Nehru and it was held in Lahore in 1929 in this session Purn Swaraj was declared as the ultimate goal also civil disobedience movement was launched and 26 january to be observed as independence day 45th session this session was held in 1931 in Karachi under Vallabh Bhai J Patel During this session resolutions on fundamental rights and national economic program were put forward. Also Gandhi Irwin Pact was endorsed. Gandhi was nominated to represent INC in the second round table conference to be held in London. 50th session. This session was held in Faspur in 1937 under the presidentship of Jawaharlal Nehru. This was the first congress session in rural area. 52nd session. This session of congress took place at Tripuri in 1939. Initially Subhash Chandra Bose was elected as the president but due to ideological differences he had to resign and Rajendra Prasad was elected as the president Subhash Chandra Bose formed forward block due to which he was removed from the post of president of the Bengal Provincial Congress Committee 53rd session this session took place in Ramgarh in 1940 under the presidentship of Abdul Kalam Azad It was decided that civil disobedience movement will be launched at the appropriate time and under the appropriate conditions. And 54th session. This was the last session on Congress before independence. It took place in Meerut in 1946 and was presided by J B Kriplani. Now let's discuss about successes of Indian National Congress. They represented the most progressive forces of the time. They were able to create a wide national awakening of all Indians having common interest. They trained people in political work and popularized modern ideas. They exposed the basically exploitative character of colonial rule, thus undermining its moral foundations. Their political work was based on hard realities and not on shallow sentiments, religion, etc. they were able to establish the basic political truth that india should be ruled in the interest of indians they created a solid base for a more vigorous militant mass based national movement in the years that followed now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims question consider the following statements one the first woman president of the indian national congress was sarojini naidu two the first muslim president of the inc was badruddin tiabji Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. And now mains question. Briefly write about the important sessions of the INC and their major takeaways. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.